We are here with Jesse Muldrow, the reigning Warrior of the Week and Northern Athletics Conference Football Offensive Student Athlete of the Week. Jesse, last week in the first win of the season over Minnesota Morris, you had nine carries for 138 yards and two touchdowns. Um, take us through that game and what was the difference um, in the running game from the first two weeks of the season? Uh, I guess the difference was just we had a really good week of practice. Um, Coach Fossum did a good job preparing the offensive line and uh, get them motivated to, to do better because we had two poor performances in the running game. We really wanted to come out strong because we believe that's one of the strongest parts of the offense, our running game. We were too talented to get held to under 100 yards two weeks in a row. So um, we came out strong. Coach had stressed all week long about starting fast, coming out of the gate strong, and you guys definitely did that. Take us through the first play of the game, uh, your 66-yard touchdown run. What did you see there? And just tell us about the play. Uh, that play, it was all the offensive line, tight end, receivers. Um, I All I had to do was really just run. I was not touched on the play at all. So a lot of people want to say, oh, you had a 66-yard run. Um, pretty sure my grandmother could have ran through that whole offensive line block so well. Um, it was blocked to perfection. I just had to <laughs> not get caught by their safety. You had a nine-yard touchdown run later on in that first half. Um, and, and you only really only played the first half. How was that like? Uh, first of all, you guys rushed to a school record, 363 yards, all three running backs rushing for over 100 yards in the game. Just on the sidelines in the second half after you had your nine carries, um, what was it like to see your two uh, your, your teammates, Donovan Tucker and Taylor Pilot, also achieve the 100-yard milestone first time in school history that three have done so? That was actually uh, pretty awesome. So I believe it was their first for both of them, the first 100-yard rushing game in the career here at WLC. So it was really awesome. I felt I was proud to be a part of that, part of that running back trio. Actually, the, all the running backs, you know, fullbacks, all the ones that even couldn't make it on the trip. I was just proud to be a part of it. We played really well. And, uh, those guys deserved deserved uh, their stats, and they did. It was the seventh 100-yard rushing game of your career. The second highest individually. You had 171 yards in a game back in 2009. 138 last Saturday, but talk about the offensive line. Talk about the group that you run behind and uh, an experienced group that is. Uh, how do you feel in the backfield when they're in front of you? I feel very comfortable. I feel confident um, that holes are going to open up. It's it's kind of a cool feeling. You know that they have your back regardless, um, that they're going to block their best for you every single play, do their best. And there's a bunch of goofy guys. It's <laughs> It's fun. It's exciting that this is my last year and I get to go out with these guys, with these, this group. Um, it's an experience I'll never forget. After the 0-2 start and, and the win at Minnesota Morris on, on Saturday, you guys have your bye week. Um, how, how important is the bye week at the time for you guys in the season? It's real important. Um, a lot of guys are banged up, a little, little injuries here and there. We get the chance to heal up, rest up for conference because it's going to be tough. To win conference, we're gonna have to go seven and zero. The teams we're playing are really good, and it's just it's just important to come off this win with the momentum that we have and with the confidence to go in and uh, hopefully take out Maranatha. Yeah, talk about the rest. Obviously, the the first game coming up in a week against Maranatha on homecoming. Um, talk about what it is one to to get conference play underway, two to to start conference play at home, and, and three playing in front of that homecoming crowd. It's exciting to start a conference. Um, it's exciting these seven games because this is what's gonna, you know, make or break our season uh, record-wise. We want to accomplish our goal of, you know, getting a conference championship, and this is gonna be exciting playing in front of the home point crowd. We get the opportunity to to uh, show the fans what we, how we really can play. You know, we didn't really do that the first game opening of the stadium against Ripon. It's kind of embarrassing. So hopefully, we can show uh, show everyone the true Warrior football team. Again, we are here with Jesse Maldrow, the reigning Warrior of the Week and Northern Athletics Conference Football Offensive Student Athlete of the Week from September 19, 2011. Jesse, thanks for your time and good luck next week against Maranatha.